sing a song to the Lord, for He is good. Sing a song to the Lord, for He is good. It is fitting to bless His holy name, sing Him anthem. His mercy with the dawn and of his truth in the night. Sing a song to the Lord, sing a song to the Lord, for he is good. Sing a song to the Lord, sing a song to the Lord, sing a song for he is good, for he is good. of his hands I shout for joy, O God, how deep your designs. Sing a song to the Lord, sing a song to the Lord, for he is good. Sing a song to the Lord, sing a song to the Lord, sing a song for he is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. A hearty welcome to the Eucharist once again. Asking God's blessings on us on this Friday as we come closer to the end of the week. We pray to the Sacred Heart and encourage you all to pray to the Sacred Heart as we do on Fridays. It's good to keep devotion to divine mercy and the sacred heart. My dear sisters, my dear fathers, my dear families, dear children, let's now ask God to come into our lives and to bless us as we celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Kindly sit for the reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you and now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their belly, and they glory in their shame with minds set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The words of our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, bonded as one together. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. For Israel's witness it is to praise the name of the Lord. There were set the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us stand and prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps Christ's word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was wasting his possessions. He called him and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Turn in the account of your management, for you can no longer be manager. And the manager said to himself, What shall I do, since the master is taking away the management from me? I am not strong enough to dig. I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, that when I am removed from the management, people may receive me into their houses. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said to the first, How much do you owe my master? He said, A hundred measures of oil. He said to him, Take your bill, sit down quickly and write fifty. He said to another, How much do you owe? A hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill and write 80. The master commended the dishonest manager for his shrewdness. For the sons of the world are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than the sons of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear families, my dear friends, religious sisters. I suppose one of the questions that comes to your mind, comes to my mind also, is, is the Lord, is Jesus uh, praising this man who has done this? Uh, how can the Lord praise uh, this dishonest manager, dishonest? Perhaps we should know the little background of what has happened, what was happening at that time. This was a rich man. And uh, I, I think this passage is only in Luke, not in Matthew and Mark. Uh, now, this rich man who was, uh, first of all, known for his generosity, one man can presume, because he's not upset at the very end, because the master does not say that Jesus recommended him. The master commended the master, not, not uh, Jesus. This is the. Now, the master was a person who was kind. When he saw that this man was wasting his possessions, he did not punish him, did not throw him in prison or try to uh, get angry with him. He only told him, Now give me your account and now I'm putting somebody else. So you see, the he was a person known for his kindness, sensitivity of heart. He must have been, uh, was doing very well, was not too interested in material things. Again, 
the manager, generally they were saying that they were concluding from the words used, he probably was uh, a slave or very often an adopted child, somebody who was brought into the family and then had all the rights of the family and he was therefore put in charge. This was the custom that time. They would bring a relative's child or some, and then they would have all the rights and he would be in charge while the family itself was living somewhere else, the master's family. Now, uh, he had full control over the possessions. Now, these things of the oil and the wheat, it is not that uh, they had borrowed from the master. They would pay the rent to the master according to, from their produce, one part of the produce. So this man must have had olive trees, whatever trees, and uh, he had to pay a certain percentage uh, to, the, to the owner as his as the rent as the lease money whatever you know and similarly the wheat it was he had planted now he has he owes him a hundred uh, bags of hundred measures of wheat so he had now even in this the managers he was not a very honest man they would charge exorbitantly and keep part for themselves and part for the master if the person was honest and give only a little bit to the master Again, the master, knowing that he was a kind man, possibly would have done this himself. Now, you see, he hears about this, that the man who had to give a uh, hundred uh, measures of oil, hundred measures of oil, hundred jars of oil, some translations say, uh, now, these was one part of the thing. And then he says, no, make it only 50. Now he really, in a way, he had his authority. He was the one who would decide how much of rent would be paid. So he was reducing the rent and partly he is also removing part of his own profit, only thinking of the future. Now people will think that he was the one who was generous. Really it was the master who would really, would have probably uh, afterwards not taken that full amount and uh, would have said, okay, only give this, only give this. So really there is not uh, in the sense robbing but giving back really what he was what he had uh, what he was taking unjustly this is what many commentators who have studied these passages uh, have uh, mentioned that this was really uh, doing undoing the wrong that he was doing in a way and therefore the master says now oh, this chap is a clever chap he knew that I would do this and therefore he has done it on his own and he has taken the credit instead of me taking the credit. So the master, you can see in the whole tone of uh, the parable Jesus told, this is a parable Jesus told, is uh, not an angry situation, but like sort of uh, looking at him and seeing uh, that he was shrewd. And Jesus says, the sons of the world are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than the sons of light. So uh, here we have uh, to think of, uh, Jesus is saying, uh, think of the future. He says it's not that he's done a right thing, but undo the injustices that you have uh, done, undo the wrongs that you have done before it is too late. This is really the explanation of by many commentators of this passage. In the Philippians, where once again, St. Paul, we're coming, it's in the third chapter, said it's only a book of four chapters where he uh, really is encouraging them. And he says, don't be tainted by the some of these people who are not fully followers of the gospel. I mentioned to you yesterday and day before, there were some who were trying to disturb their faith by uh, making, putting extra laws for them, the Jewish laws, and also disturb their faith by saying, what does Paul know about uh, our religion? Paul knows nothing and Paul was giving his credentials yesterday and today he says these people are they're only interested in material things their God is their belly he says so really once again encouraging them to be faithful to the teaching which he gave he says be imitators of me as I am of Christ so that he has the courage to say imitate me because I am imitating Jesus Christ proclaiming the gospel following what Jesus said sacrificing myself for everything. Today is uh, also, I must tell you, is the feast of Saint Leonard. So happy feast to all the Leons and Leonards uh, today. Uh, he was uh, uh, 
really an abbot known for his prayer life simplicity he worked many many miracles when he lived in the 7th century and known for austerity simplicity and continuous prayer for others and helping others saint leon pray for us god bless you Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness of this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. When he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you feel is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Apo, me, your and worthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Leonard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be quest eternal life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, we all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, to wait joyful hope the coming of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's always a sign of peace. Christ, peace with you. Christ, peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Don't only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. 
O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a lovely evening. God bless you. Thanks for coming to this Mass. I want to remind you that from Monday, we will change the time a little bit. There will be other changes also. Uh, we'll uh, The Mass will be live streamed at 7 in the morning instead of 7.30. So already now, prepare yourselves for the change of timetable. This evening there's no catechesis, being a Friday, but we all pray to the Sacred Heart uh, and we pray for each other. God bless you. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus sins and grace to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? Discouraged, take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find?
find a friend so faithful Who will all our sorrow share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer